Hello everyone, today we will talk about specifically on Ohmla that what basically Ohmla is. So Ohmla gives us the relationship between the current voltage and resistances. Basically resistances and this law we keep resistance constant but we varies the magnitude of voltage versus current. So basically this law is about to specify the relationship between the current and voltage. However, this law gives us the linear relationship between the voltage and current. So after this, we will look at practically that how can we verify that this is a linear relationship between the voltage and current. So let's get started. So here is I said that there is a linear relationship between the voltage and current. So that means that current is directly related to voltage source so it means that if you goes on increasing the voltage the current increasing automatically so here we introduce a constant this is constant of proportionality and known as resistances so if you want to find the resistance then we can calculate it is r is equal to v time v by i so this is the relationship between voltage and current to find out the values of r so now let's verify that how this voltage and current are related linearly to one another. So now let's choose a random values for voltages that is V1 is 45 volt and V2 is 40 volts and V3 is 35 volt. But keeping the value of resistance is constant as I have said earlier that the value of R will remain constant throughout the circuit. So it's let's say this is 5 ohm. So now let's calculate the current for each of the voltage supplied. So I1 well gets to V by R. So which is 45 divided by 5. This is 9 ampere. And in the second case this is I2. This is V2 divided by R. So this will gets to 40 divided by 5 which is 8 volt sorry 8 ampere and I3 will result in 35 by 5 which is 7 amps so here we will draw the corresponding graph for both of these So is we have taken the voltage to be varied therefore we will select the voltage on x-axis because it's varying in magnitude. So this is our voltage axis. So take or choose the point that are located at the same distances. This is 10 volt. This is 20 volt. Here it is 30 volt. Sorry, this is 40 volt and this is 50 volt. Now, as we have got values of current 9 ampere, 8 ampere, and 7 ampere, so accordingly choose here the same distances between the points like uh, 2, am 2 amps and 4 amps, 6 amps, and 8 amps. This is 10 amps. So this is 9 amps. This is 7. This is 5. And this is 3. This is 1. And this is 0. So now, as you know that the value from previous we have got at V1 when V1 was 45 volt, then the corresponding value of current was 9 amps. So when voltage is 45 volt. Here is the point and current was 9 ampere. So this is the point and when voltage V2 was 30, 40 volt and current was 8 amps.
this is another point so now let me draw this quickly so here is our corresponding voltage value for v3 is 35 volt and current is 7 ampere so this is at 7 amps our voltage value was 35 volt so therefore when we plot the graph between these two we will got a linear relationship between the voltage and current thank you so much for watching